Okay, so we'll do this very quickly because it's about to rain. So we'll test again this combo the uh, O3 air unit with goggles 3 and FPV controller 3. We will just try to fly this and I'll show you the goggle feed through all throughout this video so you will be able to see this. <laughs> and, uh, it's about to rain. Uh, you'll see this on uh, the footage while we do this video. So let's go, let's do this flight. On our previous video, I forgot to show you the goggle feed on the video. So this time I'll show it to you. At the same time, I changed the propeller to the HQ prop 4-bladed propeller and I adjusted my mount for the O3 air unit. This time it's a bit safe. Okay, so the megabits per second is 50. We don't have the 60 that is available for the 04 unit. I think the four bladed props of HQ prop is better than the gem fan. You hear the sound of the wind. <laughs> it's about to rain badly. Oh my god, we're being blown by the wind. Hopefully it's not yet raining. Oh, we're being blown. We're battling the wind. Oh my god. <laughs> I think the, the lens is wet already. But so far, we are about 2 minutes on our flight and we still have 3.69 battery. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that's close call. of light on our next on our second video I'll try to change to wide FOV and on our third flight let's do a I'll turn off rock steady so we could do it in gyro flow. I'll try to show you how to do it. How to stabilize your video in gyro flow. Okay, so I think that's enough for our first flight. On our second one, I'll try to do it in F uh, wide. And on our last video, I'll turn off uh, rock steady, do a stabilization on gyro flow. Okay, second flight. This time I'll change to uh, wide. Okay, so even if we are very very far, the MBPS doesn't change from 50. Unlike with the goggles too, sometimes it drops significantly. But this one it doesn't. 
probably DJI use a better antenna for the goggles 3. Okay. This is wide FOV as well. Oops, that was a close call. Okay, okay. Oopsie. Alright, FOV. So now we change to third flight. Okay, so this in this video, last part, we will disable rock steady so we could do gyro flow later on. And I'll show you how to do it. Let's disable EAI. Okay. Why? Alright. Let's go. So this time we disabled Rocksteady. Although I can see in my goggle feed that the the rates of the Pafo 20 is really good. It's not too shaky on the video feed. Even though as you can see there are a lot of wind today and still it's not as shaky as my other quad. I think the Avada 2 is more shaky than this. Whoa. See, see the wind, see the wind. <laughs> that is way too strong. Uh, I'm trying to battling to battle the wind. Oh fudge. That was difficult to fly. Some people do encourage you to use a secondary uh, system for your radio controller, especially if you're flying really, really far. Because the moment the feed of the goggles is stopped or halted, you cannot control the quad. But if you're flying just in this close proximity, such as I do in this our place I think this combo is enough okay two minutes so that should be enough I think then we will do the editing all right so that is our final flight so that is our flight of the PV controller 3, toggles 3, and the O3 air unit. So all of these are number 3. <laughs> so we will continue this video on the editing part and I'll show you how to do it in gyroflow.